Finishing my last semester of business school, for me, I started thinking about, okay, well, if this is a product, right? If music is a product, if me as a brand is a product, then how do I create this? You know, how do I put this together? What does it mean to be a musician in 2016 when I'm out here in the Bay Area and, you know, it's, it's not like I'm at UCLA, I'm not at USC. And so I started right. thinking about this from the mindset of entrepreneurship, just like my friends that are, you know, learning how to pitch to VCs and create a product and all these different things. I'm like, okay, well then let me think about it from that mindset. So that's when I started reading up on a lot of these books and getting into those resources to think about it from the perspective of a business. I already knew I could rap. That was like a non-issue. I wasn't trying to what? learn how to make that. It was like, yo, how do what I books like- did you read? Oh man, I got, I got a bookshelf right here. Let me see if my poor little eyes can. What's actually dope is that I've had these books for quite some time. I just never really understood them as a kid. And now I actually mm -hmm. understand them. But it's like, yeah. uh, How to Be Your Own Booking Agent, um, Guerrilla Marketing 101, The Truth About the, the Music Business, Music Business 101, this like really large anthology about like music law, uh, concert and promotion, the artist management. These are like billboard books. Let me see. Hip Hop Wars. You know what I mean? Um, uh, how to Be Your Own Booking Agent. What do you think about that book? I haven't read that book. Man, I, I love that book. That actually, it, the reason why I've been able to like book my own shows and get to the point where like I'm headlining my own shows is largely because of that book. It, it mm. you know, at the end of the day, and, and you, this is something that I definitely took away from a lot of the books that I read is that all of this is doable if you just put in the work. Um, and, and be and, willing to. And be willing you know, to put in the work. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> to do it. You don't need to have like the shiny stuff. Most people don't want to see what reality is. Because yeah. there's a lot of artists that are making this image and doing all these things to to fluff it. And then you're trying to chase what these other people are doing and you can't figure out how you mm. get there. So you start to cheat the game, not realizing you're actually doing what they did because they were cheating the game in the first place and it becomes this cycle. Sean, you just say, yes, give me some no, hard numbers. Every everything you just said is exactly what. I've been fighting against for the past few years because mm. that mentality of like, let me try to be like them and da, 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 da. I know if I have to cheat my way, I'm gonna cheat my way. That was, that was the younger me. That was the pre-business school me. That was, you know, whatever. And, you know, given, you know, those things that I talked about, that's like got me to where I am. It's like, look, yo, like I'm doing this cause I desire to, I'm doing this because I have the desire to create a business, but like I could also stop doing this. And from a financial perspective, be very fine. Right. So like, I'm not doing this to look like I have something that I don't. I'm mm -hmm. doing this because, you know, I believe I have a, a, a viable product that I've been able to prove year after year after year. People want this and I've been growing it in my own way. And sure, it takes time, but I'm willing to understand how to run this business in a way where eventually it will scale. And that, you know, that curve, we, those that understand like a scaling curve, it's like, all right, there yeah. will be a point where like it will become unmanageable. I'm kind of, yeah. you know, I'm kind of like at the cusp, but right now it's like, okay, what is manageable for me to do? And understanding right. those behind the scene things actually makes what you see on the surface a lot more palatable, you know? Mm. So I, I totally yeah. hear you. It's like, you know, when you learn that and I, I'm thankful that I, you know, I took marketing classes, I took operations, like I've, I work in marketing operations. I do strategy. I used to be a consultant at a top four uh, consulting firm, like I've worked with Fortune 500 companies, all of that stuff. So I see how they run business. Mm -hmm. So why do I think that just because I have a talent, you know, I should just <laughs> put chase clout and like hope like there will be some type of infrastructure? That's not how it works. People hide the fact that it's supposed to be or get confused that it's all just business because of this whole mystique of creativity that we create. But yeah. it's like, no, nah, man. Like, yeah structure has to be there you have to be a, to create something sustainable it has 100%. to be structured i don't care how creative the thing is you have to do great business to even create space for creativity mm. right like so that's a bar so, yeah for real man like, yeah. It's